Right, so if we look at our solubility here, we want to um, compare solubility to temperature. So the question says, a pupil investigated the effect of temperature on the solubility of the salt, ammonium chloride in water. She determined the maximum mass in grams of the salt that would dissolve in 100 grams of water at different temperatures. And the data is given in the table. So the first thing we notice about the table is that the numbers maybe aren't going exactly as we'd like them. So as in, they're not going in fives and tens and so on and so on. Okay, so we, for solubility there, our numbers are quite awkward, 29, 37, 46, and so on. So we need to pick numbers that we're going to go up our graph in. So I'd recommend you there to, if you look at the amount of room, the amount of space we have with our graph, um, so we're going to be obviously sensing the solubility here on the y-axis. Uh, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So you're going to have to go up in tens there. You've no choice but to go up in tens. Right, so that's the first thing we want to notice about that. Um, so the questions are, first we want to plot our graph. So we'll just do that first and get it out of the way. Uh, we'll plot our graph. So we'll use carefully use our points there now. So they're telling us when the temperature was zero. Right, so zero is going to be in the corner. Okay, so we're going to be starting at zero for temperature. Okay, right in the corner there. And then we're going 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100. Now, let me see. Do you have enough room? Like, it's all trial and error. So if you want to say 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, yes, we do have room. So the more room you can get out of it, the better. Because it's going to be easier for you to plot your points. So 20, 40, 60. Now, I know it's hard to see them. 80 and 100 all the way down here. All right. Going up then, as I said, we've no choice but to go in 10. And the numbers are going to be awkward. We're going to have to just make the best of what we uh, what we have and try and make it as accurate as possible when we are plotting our points. Okay, so now we have our figures in. And remember, sometimes figures might be on the graph question. So in that case, happy days. But in this case now, we've had to figure it out ourselves. But you just need to take your time, look at the amount of boxes you have, and then go from there, giving yourself enough room. So the first point there to plot, zero on the x-axis down at temperature and we're going to solubility which is the y-axis 29 okay so zero you can use your ruler if you want okay get your ruler zero there's 20 29 obviously is going to be just before 30 so around there okay now if you can see clearly there there's kind of five boxes from zero to ten so you're going to be going up in two so two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty so we can say that every box Every time we hit a line there, it's going to be 2. So 29 is going to be just before 30 there. And just after that line, that would have been 28. All right, so that's that point done. We give it a tick. All right, uh, 20 and 37. So 20, we're going up. Now, as I said, if that's 30, 32, 34, 36. And before we get to the next line of 38, we will be putting our dot on the line of 37. Okay, that's done. 40, so we're here. And we are going up to 46, so follow your line up, and it's 46 this time. So it's going to be on that line that I'm talking about. Okay, 46. Now make sure, as we're going through here, if you're doing it as well, that you're getting it right. 60 and 55. So 60, going up, that's 50, 52, 54, and 55. Okay, uh, 80 and 66, so 80, 62, 64, 66, alright, and the last one then is 100, and we're going to 77, there's 100, there's 70, 72, 74, 76, so 77 is just after there. Okay, now remember, when we're doing our graph, this is... This, for solubility, we're talking about a curve. Sometimes it's a straight line, that's fine. Sometimes it's a curve. So whatever way you're doing it, just make sure you are kind of get your line to go straight through. So I'll do it as best as possible here now, okay, with your pencil or your pen. Okay, going through all my points now. Going over different pieces of paper here now, but there we go. As best you can. And it's freehand, and it might not look the straightest, but once it's, um, it's done as best you can, that's the main thing. All right. Now, if I look carefully, that's that's the first part of my question done. Plot a graph of solubility against temperature. Okay, we've done that. 
All right. So next part, use the graph to estimate the solubility of ammonium chloride at 70 degrees. And this is where people start to get confused. It's not confusing. You do the exact same thing every time. So they've given us, they've said, we need to use 70 degrees and we need to use our graph. There are the two things we need to use. Here's our graph and now where is 70 degrees? Right, so 70 degrees is obviously here, between 60 and 80 degrees in that line. Okay, right there, 70 degrees. Okay, so we are going to be using our graph and our number to find out what the solubility is. So, the best thing you're going to do is you're going to need your ruler for this. You go to where 70 is, because that's all you've been given in the question. You're going to get your ruler and you're going to go up as far as your line, wherever you plotted your graph. And you're going to get your pen or your whatever you want to use and you're going to just draw your line down. And when you get to here, you don't keep going. Okay, you stop the minute you hit that curve that you've, you've joined the dots, remember. So you're going to have a line or you're going to have a curve there to hit. The minute you hit that, you stop, take away your ruler, turn it towards the other axis and draw your line across. Right. They want to know what the solubility is. Here's our solubility figures on the side. Okay, and solubility here is 60. So your answer was going to be 60 grams in 100 grams of water. Okay, so if you write that in there, 60 grams per 100 gram of water. And the, I'm getting this unit from what was given to me here in the question. So always the same. You could be told to use it, uh, find solubility when temperature is 90. You would go to 90, which is here, and you would do the exact same thing. Right? They could give you any number at all. It's the exact same process. Go to where 90 is, up, hit the line, stop, and then straight across to your other axis. And in that case there, you'd be talking about 72 grams would be your solubility there. Okay? Right, so that's that part done. And the very last part then is we is what conclusion about the solubility of ammonium chloride can be drawn from your analysis of the graph. Okay, so if we look at the graph, basically just describe what's happening each time. So what we would say is we'd use the two words that were given in the graph. So we'd be talking about solubility and temperature at the same time. And if you look carefully, we can see that as the temperature goes up, if you follow the line, temperature is going up each time. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And as it goes up, so is our solubility. Okay, so as temperature increases, solubility increases. That would be our conclusion. Okay, happy enough.